Here's how I saved up enough money to get my real estate license when I was new and broke, and I'll give you some tips so you can do it too. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, BC, welcome back to another video. Now, I know a lot of you who follow me, uh, you're all over the place, but some of you are newer or aspiring to get into real estate and I wanna cover something for you that's extremely important, okay? I made videos before about how I started real estate flat broke and apparently some people think that if you're broke, you have to stay that way and you can't do anything about it. And they're like, oh, how do I get my license? You were broke, how did you do it? Like, how did you get your license then if you were broke? It's like, dude, wake up, okay? If you're broke, that doesn't mean you have to stay broke. Okay, let me be the one to tell you. I know many of us grew up that way and we were told that, but you can change it. So, you have to become resourceful. Let's rewind. I start, um, I come back from being overseas. I feel sorry for myself for about a year. Then I decide, hey, I'm gonna get into real estate. So from that moment, everything changed and the mode of getting some money saved up and preparing myself for real estate began in that moment. The first mistake so many people make is you either don't get resourceful. Number two, you wanna wait until you have your license to do anything. But three, you don't plan ahead and you don't plan for the long term. So with that said, I made the decision, committed, which you need to do, and said, I'm getting my license and I'm getting in this career and that's it. It's not, well, I'm gonna try it or do this. It's like, no, no, this is what I'm doing, okay? From that moment, that switch goes on and everything changes because you realize, hey, I'm broke. Number two, I need to do something about it. Number three, getting my license is gonna require courses, testing, uh, paying for the MLS and my dues. Damn, I'm looking at like 12, 13, 1400 dollars. I need to make this money and I need to have enough money saved up if I'm gonna go that route to last me at least a month or two to get my feet wet, okay? So, my whole plan and strategy started from there. Now, I'm somebody probably like most people watching. I wasn't an entrepreneur before. I didn't have any uh, you know, special privileges. I didn't know anybody. I didn't get any special gifts or donations when I started. I was being told the opposite. You're crazy, why are you getting into real estate? Get a regular job, get a real job, wake up, you're a dumbass, all that stuff, okay? And I'm saying a lot of this in the beginning because I know many of you can relate to it, okay? So, what did I do? Now, a lot of people think, well, if I need to make money, I need to get a job. That's just the way we're brought up. You forget that there's many other things, especially now in 2019, and some of those things I didn't have back in 2012 when I decided to get my license, okay? Remember, you need to plan ahead. So, with that said, I didn't get a regular job. I started saying, how can I maybe get a hustle or find something that's gonna pay me more? I can't do this nine, $10 an hour shit, okay? Now, I'm not above it, or Craigslist or anything else, which are some suggestions that I'm gonna give you. However, that's not the only option, and I want you to realize that. You do not have to just get a job, okay? If you are working a job, you have other options as well, but I want you to open up your mind for a second, okay? So I started going on Craigslist. Now I found these jobs, these odd-end jobs called being a brand amb ambassador. Brand ambassador, yeah, that's how it is. Brand ambassador, where you would uh, be an independent contractor and you would be contracted by these companies to represent certain brands at events. And I started doing that, okay? Now, long story short, I went on Craigslist and I never said I'm too good to go on Craigslist, okay? And you can't say that either. I went on Craigslist and I started emailing and finding. Now, I emailed and called. I didn't just email, I emailed and called and if they had a local office, I'd go in person to probably dozens and dozens of these companies and I maybe, got contacted back and offered by I think two or three. So there was at least three to four dozen attempts, 36 to 40 attempts, email, multiple email attempts, phone calls, whatever to reach to them, Facebook, whatever outlet, messaging them through Craigslist, I did that. And I went in person and I phone called, remember. And maybe, I don't know, 10% of them replied back and offered me work. Now the beauty in this work is even though it's not consistent, at that time, and I still think now, you get paid 20, 25, 30 bucks an hour. Now some of them got paid more, which I'll cover later. But this is something that I could do that I knew, hey, I can concentrate doing these gigs for two, three, four days where we work 10 hour days and make you know, six, seven hundred bucks and stash that money away, okay? Another thing that I knew other people were doing, I didn't do myself, but they were buying low and selling high. They were buying shoes and odd end things and uh, they would put them back on Craigslist and sell them for a profit. I knew people that were flipping cars they're buying cars for three, 400 bucks, flipping them for 800, 900, and then just working their way up. Those are just some basic ideas that you can use to uh, make some money, get your feet wet, and get that scratch ready, okay? Now, with that said, that's more than enough for you to already get your mind going, okay? 
Now that brand ambassador job, I know you can still find them because I still get the emails and people that I know still get the emails and I know people that I did it with back then that are still doing it. So it's still happening, okay? I don't care who you are, where you're from, you can do it. Now obviously if you speak different languages or you have certain uh, skill sets that other people don't have, as far as maybe if there's a show and they have to do certain demonstrations or you have experience with cars or whatever it is, you're gonna have more opportunities, right? Or if you're a female, male, some of them are only female, some of them are only male. So you're gonna have to do your research, be patient and reach out to them and be proactive about it. If you, were, if you send them a message and they don't answer, say, hey, what's the status? Be proactive, okay? Don't just email. So I did that and what I started doing, and this is the second step, is you need to be smart with your money, okay? Because I got a couple of these gigs right away and then guess what? At that first gig that I did well, I started getting recommended to other ones because I worked my ass off and did very well. I showed up and said, this is the tryout for me to do well in real estate. So even though this is only a stepping stone to get to where I want to get, I need to outperform everybody, work hard, and to whoever's in charge for them to look at me and say, man, this person's a stand-up worker. Why? Because that's going to carry over into real estate, okay? How you do anything is how you do everything. You can't half-ass this part and then get into real estate and think that you're gonna be a king. That's not the way it works. You need to do everything with that attitude and approach of excellence, which is how I do my YouTube videos, which is how I do everything, okay? So, number two, with your money, you gotta be smart, man. Don't start loaning people money. Don't start being a hotshot and buying the newest phone and the newest cars. Stash your money away. My rule of thumb to any of you would be whatever you make, especially from these brand ambassador jobs or all these side hustles, minimum, put away half of it just for the long term and say this is for real estate. Put it away, put it away, put it away. Because before you know it, in a couple of months, you can save up thousands and thousands of dollars if you delay your satisfaction. This is, this is not your going to the club on the weekends funds, bullshit with my friends, get the newest pair of J's, uh -uh, forget that. I'm just now, by the way, starting to buy the Jordans that I've been wanting since I was a fucking kid. You know why? Because I waited and now's the time because I have the money and I can buy it and it doesn't do anything. It's a drop in the fucking bucket in comparison to what I'm making now. But do you know how difficult it was for me to wait until now to buy these Jordans when I've been wanting them since I was fucking 10 years old or younger? That's discipline. That's doing things right. You have to delay your gratification, okay? If you learn to do this, you will do very well in real estate and in life. So number one, get these side hustles. Number two, be very, very smart with your money. Number three, you need to budget and take a look at what it's gonna cost you. This is why I've been recommending to people, go online, get your real estate license online. In classes, it's gonna take you longer and it's gonna cost you more. We've teamed up with Real Estate Express, check the link below. Do their courses online, okay? They are great, you'll get it done quick, and I wish I had that option when I started. Online wasn't that big of a thing. When I started, it was just coming out. So I had to do them in person and it took forever. So you can trim months off of this stuff, okay? In the meantime, you can watch my videos and do other stuff to get ahead of the game and learn, but that's separate. This is for putting that money together. These side hustles, these Craigslist gigs, buying and selling, uh, buying low, selling high, um, and doing all these other things that I recommended that you can do, you can do it. There's a bunch of side hustles out there, okay? You just have to be patient. And if they're making you a little bit of change here and there, then you're good. Another thing I did, I don't know if this is still available, is I joined that, um, helpful Honda crew, right? You see them on the weekends with the blue shirts. If you Google my name, you can still see the pictures. I was doing that on the weekends too. And that was paying 25, 30 bucks an hour. And it was three or four hours Saturday and Sunday. So I was an extra, you know, two, three, 400 bucks or whatever I was making every weekend that I'd put away and I'd put away and I'd put away and I'd put away. This is how you win the game, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that complicated. You need to get resourceful. You need to be smart and you need to do these things and think outside of the box. Had I taken everybody else's advice and just gotten a job, I wouldn't be here, okay? So, that's as simple as it is. If you have other friends that you work with or that you know that are doing things, tag along with them. Maybe they can pay you, maybe they can give you a gig. Figure it out. Hell, I even worked with these brand ambassador things. I would even go to gay clubs in Palm Springs, here locally in LA, and I'd be getting paid 70, 80, $90 an hour. Why? Because I needed the money. I wasn't too good to do that. Right? And I had fun. Shit. So whatever comes across your plate, handle it with professionalism, do it right, and if you have the opportunity, do it. I know many people, many people out there, oh man, I would never work at a gay club. Why not? Are you not comfortable with your sexuality? I am. I can work at a gay club, have fun, and not have to worry about anything. Okay? So put all that bullshit to the side and say, hey, my greater goal here is to be in real estate or whatever it is. This advice can apply universally to anything else. 
But when that commitment is made, you'll be fine. But you need to look past all this petty, stupid shit that you keep worrying about what other people think. And yeah, I'm saying this on a YouTube video that's gonna get be viewed by probably hundreds of, uh, hundreds of thousands of people. I don't care, because I know who I am and what I'm about, okay? So, with that said, I'll end the video here. Thank you for watching, be resourceful, right? Get those side hustles, save up your money, be smart and think long-term and plan, and you'll be fine. Anybody can do this. And I gave you the prices of what it's gonna cost here in California, which is probably one of the most expensive. Okay? So if you're from the Midwest or somewhere else, it's probably going to cost you half that or less. And if you do it online, even less. Okay, This is not that difficult. So get to work. All right. As I said, check out the Real Estate Express in the description. Number two, the two new YouTube channels I have for my podcast, Supreme Being, and my personal channel, The BC Vlogs. Make sure you guys click down the link below and subscribe if you want more of a day-to-day -day and closer into my life type of feel. Uh, number three, if you want to partner with me at eXp Realty as a real estate agent, go to partnerwithteambc.com. That link is also in the description. And last but not least, make sure you do check out Modern Success, my coaching program. Uh, we're growing by the day, and this has literally become a community and a movement. And I recommend you join it because it's going to change your life. And final plug for the cold calling challenge. We're starting today, and I think we have 10 or 15 spots left. So click the link below in the description to join the cold calling challenge if you haven't already. Okay, this is it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Team BC is out. Leave a like. We'll see you on the next one.